<laughs> That's really hot. Dude, I totally agree. Oh! Yeah. I see you boys are talking about Carl Rogers, eh? Yeah, Mr. Kelton. We're just talking about his 19 propositions. It's really interesting. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Well, could you boys tell me what they are? I seem to forget. Go. The 19 propositions are as follows. 1. All individuals exist on a continually changing world of experience of which they are the center. 2. Organisms react to the field as it is experienced and perceived. This perceptual field is reality for the individual. 3. Organism reacts as the organized whole to this phenomenal field. 4. A portion of the total perceptual field gradually becomes differentiated as the self. 5. As a result of the interaction with the environment, and partially as a result of evaluational interaction with others, the structure of the self is formed, an organized, fluid, but consistent conceptual pattern of perceptions, of characteristics and relationships of the I or the me, together with values attached to these concepts. The rest of the 19 propositions will appear at the end of this movie. Good job. You boys are very impressive. You really think so? Yes. You know, Carl Rogers had a humanist approach to psychology. Yeah, and the best part is, it's applied to all organisms living on the earth. <laughs> Aren't you boys forgetting about self-concept? Hmm, ah, uh, what is that? I don't remember. Oh yeah, isn't that your perception of relationships with others? Yeah, that must be it. Is, is there anything I'm forgetting, Andrew? Yeah, these perceptions are always changing. Sweet deal, man. Sounds really cool. I'm glad we got on top of that. I love learning. She's not worth it, man. I've heard stories. Oh, all right. You're the best. Thanks. What do you say you come over after school and we'll finish the project? I mean, we know a lot about him already, but I'm sure that everybody's going to want to know more information. And besides, it's our first time doing iMovie, so we probably get an A on the project anyways because we're really creative. Isn't that right, Jane Sixpack? Is there anything else we should go into more detail about? Let's talk more about his development of personality. Like, what do you mean, buddy? Tell me, I want to know. His theory on the characteristics of a fully functioning person. Here, you want a soda? Yeah, sure. Cherry soda, it's the best kind. Alright. Dr. Brown's, you know what's up. Well, anyways, yeah, you know, like a person's curiosity to have new experiences and trust their own judgments, you know, be creative, all that kind of stuff. It's just fascinating, isn't it? I mean, think about it. It's just... I, get, I don't even have words for it. <laughs> yeah, he also states that people want to have a full and exciting life. So you See you go. later. I gotta go. Aren't you gonna finish your soda? Buddy, I got plans. <laughs> Alright, peace. Take it easy. Great, just great. I guess these differences in personality are basically just, as he puts it, all about the kind of styles of what people do. All, um, all organisms want to be the best they can be. They all want to live the most fulfilling life they can, which is why people breathe air and eat food instead of just sitting around till they die. You know, you want to kind of take advantage of your environment and be the best you can be. You want the drama? Hey, I gotcha. You want the realness? Well, I gotcha. I know you're sick of them players, big arm and watch ya. Either they pimps or they max or they monsters. You want the real shit? Hey, I gotcha. You see my people's here. You know we rock, but you know we do it. And I'm from Shot Town, that's why I flies round. Keep some Cartier frames over my eyes now. We used to gang bang a lot of that, then die down. Children of the hat tilting, keeping hope alive now. All with no high, I do it so fly. Banksy's attack, helicopter with the bow tie. I love my city, really hope that God bless it. Have my mind moving faster than that hog in the hedges. Welcome all of y'all to my dark recesses. This is where I keep the bars like bathtub edges. My ivories and my doves, my levers and my zesses. This takes half of your Bubble bath to match the freshness The belly of the beast, you know I'm from it I'm rapping The rest of the 19 propositions 6. The organism has one basic tendency And striving to actualize, maintain, and enhance the experiencing organism The best vantage point for understanding behavior Is from the internal frame of reference of the individual Behavior is basically the goal-directed attempt of the organism to satisfy its need as experienced in the field as perceived. 9. Emotion accompanies and, in general, facilitates such goal-directed behavior, the kind of emotion 
being related to the perceived significance of the behavior for the maintenance and enhancement of the organism. 10. Values experienced directly by the organism and in some instances are values interjected or taken over from others, but perceived in distorted fashion, and if they had been experienced directly. 11. As experiences occur in the life of the individual, they are either a. Symbolized, perceived, and organized into some relation of the self. b. Ignored because there is no perceived relationship to the self-structure. c. Denied because symbolization or given distorted symbolization because the experience is inconsistent with the structure of the self. 12. Most of the ways of behaving that are adopted by the organism are those that are consistent with the concept of self. 13. In some instances, behavior may be brought about by <laughs> organic experiences and these which have not been symbolized. Such behavior may be inconsistent with the structure of the self. In such instances, the behavior is not owned by the individual. 14. Psychological adjustments exist when the concept of self is such that all the sensory and the scarole experiences of the organism are may be assimilated on a symbolic level into a consistent relationship with the concept of self. S 15. Psychological maladjustments exist when the organism denies awareness of significant sensory and visceral experiences, which consequently are not symbolized and organized into the gestalt or the self structure. 16. Any experience which is inconsistent with the organization of the structure of the self may be perceived as a threat. 17. Under certain conditions involving primarily complete absence of threat to the self-structure, experiences which are inconsistent with it may be perceived and examined. 18. When the individual perceives and accepts into one consistent and integral system all the sensory and visceral experiences, when he is necessarily more understanding of others and is more accepting of others as separate individuals. 19. As the individual perceives and accepts into his self-structure more of his organic experiences, he finds that he is replacing his present value system, based extensively on interjections which have been distortedly symbolized with a continuing organ organismic valuing process.